fastest thing, but it's, I don't know, the funnest thing. This car is a stock. 911 SC. You know, the SC came in 3.0 and 3.2 liter air-cooled engines. The oil cooler, or the oil cooling mechanism here, that goes in the front of the vehicle, that literally runs from the front to the back, keeps oil cool, and the aerodynamics of the air flowing over the vehicle into this vent is what cools this engine. Well, bam. So a three liter air cooled engine. So the air comes through this vent, comes through these fins and cools this engine. So it doesn't have a radiator. It doesn't run coolant through the system. The air cools the oil through the engine as well as keeps the engine uh, reduced in temperature, really efficient. So this car has 65,900 original miles. There's nothing really done to this. I put a, an intake in there just to give it a little bit more breathing space. Um, but besides that, I mean, this little accessory here from Porsche, it's pretty cool. Besides that, pretty much stock. I do want to do some work to this to get it a little bit faster. I thought I even about, uh, thought about boring it out to uh, 3.5, which is a popular kind of setup for, for these, but I don't know, I'm just not, I'm not sold yet. I added an exhaust, so it sounds a little bit better. Um, I have the Oz Rally Pro rally wheels. I have Elephant Racing suspension, which is pretty damn pricey, but worth every penny. But it gives it a lot of clearance, the clearance that it needs. This was the only thing I had to do. I had to refinish this. I put a rack on here for carrying bags external. Um, but this is the Targa. I did rim line because I didn't want to run carpet and, you know, take it to where we take it, which is stuff like this. Um, did change out the seats to Corbo's, Corbo seats, which I appreciate. Did the pedals, did, did the gear knob. This is like a C130. If you want to use the heat, you use this in different regions and you pull this up. It's like the trim tab or something. Then I added, oh look at that, always prepared. Yeah, always be prepared. All terrains, be of good wrench. This is the pretty part. So I took the the 80, I own an 83 coupe, which I'm building as a race car, and this is the hood from it. So I had already drilled the holes for this rally light setup. And so I didn't want to drill into the black hood, so I didn't. So same hood. Um, I don't mind if it's outlawed a little bit, but I like it like that. The only complaint I have currently are these rim line lights. You're not gonna have a lot of light output from a bulb. So I put these in aftermarket and you can see it's melted around the ring. Pretty bummed out by that. Also got moisture in here. You can see it's even a little hazy right now, but they don't have solutions for this either. They're like, you could buy the extra components for the inside and I guess I'll just have to buy extra components. That's it, I thought you guys could get a kick out of seeing this on the road. But yeah, here she is. <laughs>